Hey everybody, I'm Passmore Nope, and welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies. We're here again, on the roof. World 5, level 5, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the last in the game. Here we have ladder zombies. We haven't encountered them yet, but we will see what they can do. Let's go ahead and close that. Uh, last time we got the Colonel Pult, another attacking catapult type, which will really, really come in handy. So let's get that. Um... <laughs> Ooh, that guy's nocturnal. Hmm. Um, of course, you can see that the ladder is made of metal, uh, so I'll go ahead and spoil that. You can use a magnet shroom on it. Uh, that takes up two precious slots, though. So, you know, now we're gonna have want to have a kernel pulp on each one, so that's, you know, one less bomb that we can have. Right, and I'm gonna need the pumpkin. Hmm. All right, well, there are ways to get rid of a ladder. All uh, right, let's do that. Another uh, hidden benefit of that ladder, yeah, and I say benefit for the zombies, I mean, is that uh, they notice they hold the ladder out in front of them, so, you know, your, your pea shooters, all the horizontal shooters in the game, uh, will hit the ladder and it acts as a shield. It's not as strong as the screen door. It'll break a lot quicker than that, but uh, ladder zombies actually do uh, move pretty quickly, so it's something to watch out for. They'll move in real quick and uh, won't take any damage. But of course, with the catapulting uh, plants, you'll be able to shoot over their shield there, so. All right, now, you know, it's it's given us less and less uh, flower pots to start out with, so we definitely want to, boom, do that. All right, lots of sun, lots of sun. Let's keep building our flower pots out. So now we're gonna want like two cabbage poles and a kernel pole, and you'll be surprised at how much more firepower that ends up being for you. Really, really good. Like, they, these guys are seriously, like, just, ah, so good for the, uh, the roof levels. And in general. Nothing stopping you from, uh, going back and using them on a regular level. Let's, uh, yeah, we can do it again. How about that? Alright, so let's start building up some offense. Uh, we're gonna still want to build out. Alright. I like for my offenses, or, you know, my plants to be kind of... Neat, so all the kernel bolts are gonna go here. Alright, oh, we're done with sun producers, didn't even realize. Uh, let's get this guy here. Alright, let's see the kernel pole in action, see what he can do. So, see, he flings little kernel pellets. I think they only do one damage, so they're technically not as strong, but oh no, there we go, he shot some butter, and look what it does. It freezes the zombie. So good. No, the kernel pulse uh, seem to do two damage. So, now especially, we're, we're especially going to be able to take care of these guys. Uh, with the freezing effect, it's going to be so good. Go ahead and flush that guy. Flush that row out. Alright, we, we can uh, we can really start planting now. Starting to build up our sun a little bit. Oh, there we go. Sometimes you, you just get unlucky and he doesn't do the uh, butter for a little while, but... Uh, yeah, they still took him out. Got one bite in on him, but that's a-okay. There we go. So we got butter on each row. That is so good. All right, and just for added insurance, let's go ahead and get that guy there. Ah, uh, I should probably have been getting my defense the whole time. That takes a long time to charge. There we go. Got another cone head here. Boom. Frozen. Boom. Frozen. So good. Uh, you know, you can get two, uh, you know, Colonel Pults, keep forgetting the name. You can get two of those on a row, and, uh, you know, there's a chance they can just chain their butters and keep the zombie frozen. That's totally possible. Um, but I, I do want to say that their firepower isn't as good. I'll have to double check in the almanac, but they seem to be doing, like, two damage per hit, so. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. There we go. Yeah, we got our offense all taken care of, and now we'll just, you know, plant bombs where we need to. We don't have that. Oh, here we go. Here's a guy. Let's see. Yes, butter on the head. He's, he should go down pretty quick. They're really weak zombies, but they're fast. And, um, 
I don't know if we'll get to see his ladder in action, so I will explain what he does. The first plant he gets to, he'll plant a ladder. No, here we go. And look, he can just walk right over it. So it really negates that defense. Uh, I'll keep it there for now. I'll, I'll show you some ways you can get rid of it. I think you can blow it up with a bomb if you need to. So if it just so happens, I've, I've, I can't even remember. We might not have bucket heads on this level, so that could be, you know, could be completely unnecessary to even think about this. But, you know, if a bucket head comes down this path, I'll go ahead and try to clear it out with a bomb, too. Alright, so we're going to keep getting this up. It's just going to take a while to replace that and let this recharge. So I'll just go ahead and keep getting these on each row and then uh, we're, worry about that. Uh, you probably want to get it cleared before the big rush, just because, you know, lots of zombies are gonna, gonna come, and if they get to this, you want them to be able to stop and eat on that. There we go, got lots of butter popping off here. So good. My money production er, uh, collection is really slowed, it seems like. Uh, we should be hitting some mini games on this one. I can't remember what we're gonna play, but, uh... Those are typically your, your money makers. So as soon as the pumpkin gets charged, I keep collecting here as I take a sip of water. As the, or as soon as the pumpkin charges, I'll replace this one. But not before, just in case. All right, we're probably good to go right here. There you go, just remove the uh, affected plant. Sadly, uh, ladders can go over the tall nuts, so they, they do not block ladders. Everything but. So here's a tough row. This guy is providing cover for his uh, weaker buddy, but now he's going to get in front. Oh, look at that. Popped off twice. Got one zombie taken care of. Wow, one actually got up to the pumpkin. This guy might too. Yeah. Not for long, though. All right, we have so much freaking sun. I should, I should have gotten, uh, just more kernel bolts there. Alright, here we go, got a guy down here. Final wave coming in. Lots of stuff popping off. As long as I kill the ladder zombie, that's good. There we go. Didn't get the places thing there. Alright, we should be good. I'll just, uh, you know, help speed this along a little bit. Uh, what we got here? Oh, plant my pl flower pot yet. And there we go. All right. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, so I mentioned planting my magnet, but uh, the magnet would have been asleep because it's daytime. Well, this guy helps you get around that. Plant it on a mushroom to wake it up. Uh, can be pretty useful, especially, oh no, all these metallic objects. What are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to need something defensive. Okay, we now have no bungee zombies, so that's really good. We'll get these guys. They'll be our main offense. Um, let's get, oh, oh, what am I thinking? Sun producer, there we go. Uh, get these guys. Now we're going to need some serious D. And you know... I do this what's the best way to do this so we're definitely gonna want that and now that opens up any of these plants that we want to get I mean technically we can you know just focus our firepower on these guys and you know get a hypno shroom and take care of these guys totally possible but uh, you know let's kill three birds with one stone why not or you know two stones that's still an advantage um, we're probably gonna want bomb oh man all right, we'll get cherry bombs, but uh, we also at least need some pumpkins to protect our magnet shrooms. So I have a feeling those are going to be out in front, so I don't know. Let's see how we do here. Oh, I can't do the... Um, mm, that'll be a little hard. I can't do the potato mine trick. I'll have to save my son, like, starting right now. <laughs> Uh, it's a little annoying, but uh, should be doable. It'll kill my production kind of a lot, but that just adds to the challenge. So let's go ahead and get you planted there. It's a three flaggers, so we got a little while, but you know, by the time that first wave rolls around, we got to be ready for that. Oh, it's not going to be easy with this slowed production. There we go. 
go. Slowly, slowly balling. Let's get him. Come on, there we go. The further we go, the easy, easier it'll get to uh, fill these out. There we go. Ah, come on. I was hoping they'd be redundant and send them on rows that I already have guys on. There we go. All right, three more, we're good to go. We'll be in full production. A little behind, maybe, but we, you know, got a head start on our offense, so not all is lost. If they send, like, a zombie here and here... Oh, God. Of course they did. We don't even have a plant ready. All right, go ahead and get that. Ugh. I may have to... Oh, man. That's going to cost a lot of sun. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, pop those freaking butters off, dude. <laughs> Butter like you've never buttered before. Ah, uh, let's chump block them right now. All right, we should be good. Especially if we get another butter off. Yes! <laughs> we survived that. Very cool. Okay. Oh, I got a steam message there. I may block that out. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I'd turn those off. Uh, especially for when I record, but uh, apparently not. All right, so we're still going to work on getting our offense. The first wave may not contain any of the big... Uh, guys that we want to avoid. Uh, you know, anything with a metallic object. May not, but the second and third wave certainly will, so... I, I'm still not sure if I'm going to build another row of cabbage, and then have, like, a row way out here. I might do that. I may do that. And then, you know, if need be, we'll, uh... Actually, I only need two. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll plant them right here. Because we're only going to need two, and they can cover all five rows. And I doubt they'll send too many metal guys at us at once, so... That's what we'll do, and we'll go ahead and get it set up here. They go just, you know, plant the... The mushroom plant, and then plant the bean right over top of it. And you'll be good to go. We're going to want to get one down there, and let's go ahead and protect him. Definitely want to prioritize that. Uh, get him. Get a little more for this bean. There we go. Probably should have waited till I can get my pumpkin up there. Ooh, especially. We oh man, we got two zombies here. All right. So these rows will be a little less defended, but that should still be a-okay. Oh god, come on. Oh, there's so much crap coming on this row. Okay, there we go. So we got a ladder guy coming, but that's gonna be no problem. Boom, see? Stole the ladder right out from under him. Um, they can also steal ladders after they've been planted on something. So this guy, I can't... Oh no, okay. He has uh, enough range to deal with that. <laughs> Alright, keep popping your butter, dude, if you can. There we go. Got another butter. So we'll just have to kinda pay extra attention to these rows and... Or, you know, I could build out one more. Hmm. I may do that, actually. I, I may go ahead and do that. Yeah. That and that. There we go. So we got kind of two rows of protection there, plus a little extra offensive power to make up for the fact that we got to build them so far out. And, you know, I have so much sun, I can afford to replace this guy if I lose him there. But yeah, these guys are really going to help out. Uh... You know, we don't have to worry about ladders, we don't have to worry about footballers. Pogo guys, uh, you know, aren't a huge deal to begin with, but you never know. If they have enough cover and they come in behind a bunch of zombies, that can be annoying. They're certainly going to ho start hopping over, like, everything. And without any uh, second chances here, that will be the end of the level for me, so. Alright, let's go ahead and do that. And there we go, we'll just kind of keep our money in reserve and plant some uh, flower pots and bombs as need be. Which we really shouldn't, because anything that's dangerous is made of metal, which our magnets will take care of. Collect all the sun, there we go. 
All right, that, that really helps out these rows, actually, having the uh, extra firepower, but just jutting them out a little more. And there's still a symmetry, it just, it goes like this. You gotta look at it horizontally, and the, the symmetry's still there. All right, uh, oh, this isn't even the last wave. Good lord, long level. <clears throat> there we go, got a ladder coming in on top. Now the problem is, he's gonna hold that ladder for a little bit, so if a football guy runs in like right away, we may be in trouble. And you know what, I've been neglecting my defense here, I just realized. I certainly have the money, uh, but it's gonna take a little time to build that back up. And see, there is, there's a lot of zombies collecting here, so... You never know, a pogo guy could come right in the back here, a footballer. So really important you have these guys. And the range really helps, especially since there's like five rows. You can cover all five with only two. Man, they're already hitting right here. There we go. Taken out. Now just get some butter on this guy, we'll be good. Ha! There you go. Love these guys, so good. They really increase your, uh... They don't really increase your DPS by that much, but they freeze the aliens, so you get more hits... Uh, the aliens, good lord. The zombies, so you get more hits in per, uh, you know... Per amount of time that they're on the map, I guess. So here's what I was saying, we got a pogo guy coming in, and this guy's preoccupied. There we go, got it just in time. He's a little close, but he's also uh, pretty weak. They're fairly weak enemies. And here we go, footballer coming in, not even going to be an issue. Uh, don't waste your butter yet. Okay, now shoot him with butter all you want. There you go, boom. They're still fast, but they're, look, they're standard zombies now. Okay, that's actually good that he, that he froze him, because our guy wasn't ready up here, and he definitely would have made that, holy crap. There we go. Uh-oh, but now we got a pogo guy to deal with. Really need to take him out. Really need to. Get that butter on him there. He... Oh, it didn't work. All right, let's do this. There we go. Quick thinking there. That was really bad. Uh, he's still carrying something. Oh, did he end up stealing the pogo? Or is that a different pogo? Can't even tell. All right, uh, collect, collect, collect. Do that. You know what? I might get a third thing right here. We're, they're starting to send them a little too soon, and this uh, extra round's coming up. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. The big wave's coming up. Oh no! Oh god, he ate everything. Okay, he should go down, and we will just rebuild. There we go. I'm gonna prioritize putting a pumpkin right there, though. All right, let's get that ready. Uh, just in case we get a big onrush of uh, dudes toting some metal. Just like, yeah, like this is exactly what I was freaking talking about, dude. <laughs> All right. Oh no, that guy got eaten. Keep block. There we go. Perfect, man. We were able to deal with everything. That's really, really good. Uh, let's just, you know. Or something. Oop, not that. I want to plant you and then you. There we go. Okay. And now we're introduced to a new feature, but man, this has been one long episode, I'll tell you what. Alright, you can now play Zen Garden Mode. We'll check that one out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.